Hey everybody, Big Big's Place here. Today I'm going to go over my Lulu Jinx deck. This deck's extremely explosive, a deck that's picked up a lot of popularity with buffs of Twin Disciplines and the addition of Boom Babu to the game. Pretty unique deck that people have always tried to make work, but now it actually works and people are doing great with it on ladder. So let's get into it. So this deck utilizes Lulu, uh, her ability to support an ally grows up to 4-4 four, four this round with Flame Chompers. Is that kind of a lot about the challenger uh, that Flame Chomper has? Where I'm discarded summon me. And you buff it with Young Witch, you can buff it with Lulu, with Picks, with Suit Up, all kinds of stuff to get really good trades with the Flame Chompers. And then, when we're gonna cards your hand, because you can discard a lot, because you have discard Sentry with Boom Baboon and the Flame Chompers, uh, with, you know, Jury Rig, Rummage, stuff like that, you just refuel with Jinx, with Augment Spear Minter, and then you just continue killing them. This deck can put on a lot of pressure very fast. It's somewhere discard aggro like that, where, you know, you just discard the cards of your hand. The Jury Egg Flame Chopper, but this time you buff them with you know, Lulu Young Witch. Uh, and it's just tons and tons of pressure. It has some pretty crazy combos. You can get out of hand really fast. All right, so let's get into the deck. First off, we have three Poro Cannon. Easy way to discard the Flame Chompers, the Jury Rig, or the Boom Baboon. Uh, created Flame Chopper from your hand. You can buff this with Lulu to make it a 4-4 push for elusive damage. You can suit up this. A lot of targets that can be lulu I guess, or suited up for big damage. Obviously gives you two daring poros to your hand. Third jury rig, pretty straightforward. Summons a 1-1, but again, jury rig, young witch, lulu, stuff like that, put on the pressure. Three picks, really strong to make the flame choppers actually like two attack units to clear their enemies. Um, it'll die in combat sometimes, but you mostly want to be using this to buff the flame choppers and turn it from a 0-2 into a real threat. Three Zion Archon, discard a card, draw a card. Pretty good, you know, Jury Rig, Flame Chompers, Flame Chomper, Boom Baboon. Pretty common discard themes here. Three Boom Baboon, this is the new card that came out of this set. Two mana, three one, when I'm summoning creative Flame Chompers in hand, works perfectly because this deck's like all about Flame Chomper combos with the suit up and the Lulu, so very, very good ways to generate advantage by getting these nice trades by making this a four four. When it is a free card, usually it's discarded from your hand. Uh, we have three Flame Chompers regularly. I'm discarded summon me, pretty straightforward. Two Rummage, now costs two mana, but still good nonetheless. To play, discard two cards from your hand, draw and for each card you discarded. Good refuel, good way to enable the Jury Rig, the Flame Choppers, and stuff like that. Poor Cannon and Rummage can both be used very well to level Jinx. Uh, they can empty the cards remaining in your hand, and then you, you, you get the Rocket. Does four damage to the next to each turn, one to all enemies, and it draws two cards a turn. So very, very strong Jinx level up. Newly buffed, uh, two mana Twin Disciplines seem to be popping up all over the meta, like Every Ioni deck runs two to three of these. This card is absolutely insane. Uh, Ioni is really good right now because of this buff. It used to cost three, now it costs two. So you can give it out like plus three, plus zero, or plus zero, plus three. You can give your Jinx or Lulu the defensive stats to keep them alive from like kill spells. Or you can use the offensive stats on your Flame Choppers and even Jinx to click attack and stuff like that. You can push more damage to Elusives too. Three Young Witch, support, give my support ally quick attack and plus one plus zero this round. This gives quick attack to the Flame Chompers, or you can get to Lulu to protect her while she's attacking and chip in some damage. This also used to have one health and now it has two. So it lives through Make It Rain and Wither and Whale and Vile Beast and stuff like that. Three Get Excited, deploy, discard one, deal through anything. This is versatile in this deck. You can use it on enemy units such as Zed or Ezreal or Draven, or you can use it on the Nexus to go for game. Three Lulu. Uh, really good. My support ally grows up to 4-4 this round. Allies have been supported 3 plus times. You have Lulu herself, Picks, and you have Young Witch to help uh, achieve that level up. Once she's leveled up, she grows plus 1 plus 1, and the support allies also get plus 1 plus 1 extra. They go up to 5-5 five, five, uh, that round they're supported. Create a fleeting help Picks in hand. So you get each turn, this is focus speed, give it, and it's fleeting. Give uh, Barry to one of your own units or vulnerable to enemy units. You can give them uh, vulnerable and clear them with like the buffed unit, buff flame chompers, um, which are a challenger. Or you can you can like combo with Jinx because Jinx is quick attack. Usually Barry is pretty good too. You can hook away enemies to go for game, you know, get away with blockers, or protect your own champions like her and Jinx. All right, next we have Jinx. Very good card. <laughs> I've hit rank one with this card I believe twice, so very familiar with Jinx. I love Jinx. He's really strong in the right deck, and this is one of them. Four mana, four, three quick attack, so nothing too crazy before she's leveled up. But I see your hand empty, she levels up, and then she pops off. Round start, draw one, so you draw an extra card per turn. Each round, the first time you empty your hand, create a super mega death rocket in hand. Deal four to Emmy Nexus and one to all enemies every single turn. She so draws your extra cards, you get the refuel, 
She, she burns out of me each turn, she kills the units, and then her chance spells also get excited to push for even more burn or be removal. Very good. Uh, three suit up. When drawn costs two less this round, you want to use this on your flame chompers, your portal cannons, your jury rigs. Aiding weak can just transform a weak unit to a really powerful unit and catch people off guard, go for game. Um, just all around great card in this deck with all the draw. And then two augmented experimenter to top it off. Uh, so spend a 3 3, play discard your hand, draw three. And then deal three to an enemy. So this could help level Jinx. You just kill an enemy, draw three. It's mostly for refuel, uh, but it's pretty versatile. Again, you can kill like a Draven, a Zed, Ezreal, and draw three. So let's get into it. All right, we're up against one of the best decks in the game. Uh, there's a few up there. There's like this, Lulu, Zed, um, stuff like that. And Sivir Action, Zed, I think right now is at the forefront, being the best deck in the game. So it should be a pretty hype match. So far, I think we want to keep Boom Baboon and Lulu. We can buff the Flame Chompers. But I want to get a generated one. Going for a one drop here would be nice. All right, I guess we get more baboons, more Lulus. Let's see what we can do. This is a very strong deck, so we definitely have to be careful. Um, hmm. I think we're going to pass turn one. This could be killed easily by, like, Merciless Hunter and stuff like that without trading later. Play boom, baboon. See what happens. We have Jinx to refuel for later, so that's pretty good. Push for three damage. That matters a lot, because that can... I'll put some pretty crazy damage later in the games. So we'll take two, because it has quick attack. We don't want to block that. Um, play Lulu. So right now, we really want some cards that can discard. Like, we have three Poro Cannon. We have Rummage, stuff like that. It's okay that he hooks Lulu, because we have another one. All right, very interesting. So what are we going to buff? I could just manually play this, and I think I actually am going to manually play the Flame Chompers right now. Seems to be good. Concussive Palm on a Flame Chompers. I mean, that's not that big a deal. That's fine with me, right? Um, so what do we do now? What do we want to buff? Something plus two, plus one. Hmm. I mean, if we give her plus one health, you can still trade with that into her. Everything we pick doesn't seem that great right now. I guess we could Jury Rig it. And play picks. This will help level our Lulu in hand. And what we can do here is we play this here. This will trade with any of them. This will buff this to so a 4 4, and this will buff this. Now we're pushing for some solid damage, and these will all trade. He's killing the Lulu, which has vulnerable. That's fine with me, because I was kind of afraid to clean up my Sivir or something. Pushing for 7 damage. We've already pushed for a total of 9 damage, 10 damage. 10 damage! 10 damage already, pretty effortlessly. We're gonna level Lulu, we have Boom Baboons, Jinx. Things are looking pretty good for us, at least right now. We attacked with both. Do we block is the question. Um, this deck can definitely do some pretty crazy stuff. It has like Ghost with like Shapestone, Twin Discipline, so that can push for insane damage in one turn. It's kind of like an OTK deck sometimes. So we do have to respect that and probably keep our health relatively high. It only losing a 1-1, one -one, it's not really a big deal. More Flame Chompers. Hmm. Pretty interesting hand. I guess we can just like... We'll play we'll play Jinx first and see if we want to play Boom Baboon or Flame Chompers. I haven't really decided yet. I think Flame Chompers could actually be good this turn. We can hook a few things. We can hook this with one. And then I guess the one buff by Pix could hook that? Or e either way, we're going to have um, some good hooks here. All right. So we have to put a level Lulu. I guess we could do like... There's so many different ways to do this. I guess we could do this. And that hooks Sivir. And then this. Could hook that. And then force us to block. I care about this card more than action, I believe. Action's a bit scary. Or I'm sorry, Young is a bit scary. And it can, it can like... Help him kill our units with challenge, but this can't really kill any of our units. This will give him a, a Warlord's like horde over time, but uh, we'll probably close the game out before then, so it's not really a big deal. All right. So we do force him to block here, because he's going to die if he doesn't. He might have Spirit Refuge for Sivir. That'd be insane, because then he would he'd only kill a Chomper, but it would keep Sivir alive on top of healing, yeah. Pretty good response here. Okay, so these are trading. I don't mind the trade. I really don't. 
He gets the war with Horde. It's fine with me. Could be a pretty close game, it seems. I do think that the Augmented Experimenter will be the edge we need. The... So we're pushing for some pretty big damage. We still have good board presence. He will play the Relic Power that was created from War's Palace from Action, and he'll predict and draw one card. That's fine. Um, I am kind of afraid he'll like Ghost Flare the Fist combo and kill us in one turn. I do hope that doesn't happen, but it could. Let's see. Let's see what goes on next. Oh God, is this it? Oh no. Okay, so we go to very low health. He's probably gonna try and kill us with Sivir Spell. It deals one five times randomly to the Nexus or enemies, so the more health I can play on my units, the better. Um, I think I just want to play Augmented right now. As much as I want to kill a unit, we can just hook both his units with Flame Chopper. It's an open attack for game. Um, and this has more health, making us safer to the way we lose, which we Sivir Spell. Um, I think this is worth it overall. Go another augmented experimenter. We actually can get a rocket this turn. That's really good. I oh, know we can't get a rocket this turn. I'm trolling. I saw this and got excited. All right, so we do live. We kill some of our units. Now, what do I get rid of? I think I'm gonna get rid of augmented. We're just gonna have to get excited here. Okay, now we actually can get a rocket this turn. Before before our, I was tripping, but we can. So I was gonna do a three to get excited, but now we can actually just uh, rocket here. For four damage, doing half of his health. This card, like, J Jinx is so good. I, I think Jinx is insane. It's just a very specific card, very limited that actually can go in. But the ones he does go in, she pops off. This is certainly one of them. All right, GG's, GG's. All right, we're playing versus Riven Action. Another action deck, action super strong this season. Riven was also buff, let's see what we can do. I'm gonna Morgan suit up. You don't really wanna have this in hand as good as to, like, buff the Jerry Rig or the, the Poro. You wanna draw it when it's discounted. Thrust for hand seems fine. I would kind of like to have like Lulu, but I think we'll draw into um, cards that work well here. Young Witch is just well rounded for a lot of different stuff, such as buffing the Flame Chompers. Boopa Boon's also good, but you know, we have our two drop with Young Witch, and that's fine. Lulu's great here. Um, we'll see if he knows a one drop. He used to run Blade Squire, but he didn't draw it. Push for two damage. Pretty good. All the damage matters in this deck. And they have no healing uh, in Riven action, so it really matters. This deck can explode for a ton of damage. That's why um, even two damage chipping away helps you reach that goal later. Interesting. I think we're just going to go the Lulu stream here. Like, we don't really need to play Boom Ba Boom because we don't have ways to discard quite yet. We already used our Poro Cannon. So we're just going to straight up play Lulu. What you can do here is you can attack Young Witch buffing Lulu so she won't die in combat. And then you buff like this, because it becomes a 4 4, this is elusive. So there's not really a card in our field he can interact with. It just seems like we're pushing tons of damage, which he may not have an answer to. Alright, so again, the elusives can't be blocked. This has quick attack, this is a 4 4. Uh, not much he can do, he, he might just take 10. This is really hard to deal with for them. And we have versatile protection for twin, or if they don't make us use the protection part of it, we can go for game with it later. Let's see what he can do here. We might be a bit too far ahead for him to come back, but I wouldn't underestimate a ribbon action. Yeah, <laughs> and GG. All right, everyone, that's my Lulu Jinx deck. Super fun, super explosive. I hope you guys like it. Feel free to edit it whatever way you want. Um, let me know what you guys want to see videos on and what you enjoy about this deck, all kinds of stuff. I'm really trying to, you know, up my YouTube game. So uh, feel free to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. This is when I go live, but I should be uploading videos every day. And I do stream twitch.tv slash nicknicksplays at 6.30 p.m. every day as well, EST. So, catch you guys later. Peace.